Hello, I'm Danny Sinhon. Now let's have a look at how the markets in Europe have ended the trading session. Now, a rally in world stocks sparked by Federal Reserve assurances it won't rush U.S. rate hikes ran out of steam today as the dollar remained in the grip of its worst run in months. Miners, though, benefited from a boost to metal prices, but the rest of the London market remained in uncertain territory. With the FTSE up at first, then it went down. And there again, it is down now. Well, uh, meanwhile, the Bank of England's decision to keep rates at 0.5% uh, for another month came as little surprise to traders. Well, the rises uh, of the day in London uh, were, was held led by Rand Gold Resources uh, and silver miner Fresnillo as they benefited from a rise in metal prices. Another one to flag up, Royal Mail. They did pretty well today. They were 1% higher after its announcement that it has reached a settlement with the French Competition Authority. That, of course, after an investigation into breaches of antitrust laws by subsidiary GLS France. Now, IAG, of course, the Ebola outbreak continued to have an impact on confidence in travel stocks, with British Airways owner International Airlines Group lower, of course, after big losses earlier this week. Well, the travel and tourist industry has been affected by the uncertainty of it all. Let's get a more detailed analysis of all of this. Joining me now is Jane Sydenham, Investment Director of Rathbones Investment Management. And we have got IAG on the screen. And we've had it up on the board uh, quite a few times this week, of course, because of what's going on with Ebola. Yeah, it is an immediate effect as well with the airline industry and the travel industry. I guess what everybody wants to know is how long is it going to last for because the Ebola crisis is, is very much here. Absolutely, we've got that on the board. Uh, that has seen better days today up by 1%, of course, because they struck that deal. We have got uh, Rand Gold Reserves, of course, uh, mining stocks, giving the FTSE uh, a bit of a boost today. Yes, so just to recap then, and miners, of course, benefited from a boost to metal prices, as we just heard there, but the rest of the London market did remain in uncertain territory. Royal Mail higher, 1% higher in fact, after its announcement that it reached a deal to end a competition investigation in France and the Ebola outbreak still affecting confidence in travel stocks. Don't forget a full roundup of all the other top business stories on our website, bbc.co.uk slash business. That's all for me for now. Thanks, Danny, very much indeed. See you later.